Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit, what's next in love? Okay, so what could possibly be coming next in your love life based on the current energy surrounding you and the person on your mind? All right, so please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. I greatly appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here as well. I'd like to send a special thank you out to anyone that, you know, watches the ads, the short ads that appear. Those do help me out and for all your love through super thanks as well. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and support. Um, anyone interested in a private reading, there will be a link in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video, okay? For today, we have three cards pulled from the Spirit Cats Oracle deck. For crystal number one, the green fluorite crystal with this little guy here. For crystal number two, we have the Rose Quartz Crystal with this colorful little guy here. And for crystal number three, the Amazonite Crystal with this little guy here. All right, so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most, and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the green fluorite crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number one. So today for you, we have warrior. Okay, and what came through immediately with the warrior card was someone here is working really hard at working things out, making changes to, you know, make things easier, happier between you. So really working hard could be energetically, you know, internally healing, things like that. Or it could be um, in the physical as well, working really hard towards some sort of a goal or um, toward being happier. A mm, little bit of anxiety. Mm, someone suffering from sleepless nights. Yeah, there could be some... This could be, you know, um, disagreements, things like that. That could be why the working things out came through. Someone could be having um, anxiety about this situation. This could be anxiety about a connection that hasn't come together yet as well. Queen of Swords, the need for boundaries. Okay, so someone could have set a healthy boundary or need to set healthy boundaries. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Only take what resonates with you and your intuition, leave the rest behind. But this could be the situa a situation where someone set healthy boundaries and someone's, you know, really respecting those boundaries. Yeah, Seven of Wands. I definitely feel like for some of you, you could have distanced... Hmm. You could have distanced from this situation. This situ this person could have distanced from you. This could be a coming back together after working things out. So healthy boundaries being respected could be coming here. Could be spending a lot of time meditating. You or this person really trying to figure things out internally. That could be that internal work that I felt with that first card. Whoa, what is all this? Okay, we have like six cards. <laughs> um, they're everywhere. So we have those two, these two, and these two. Okay. All right, I guess we're going to take them all. Let's see what's going on here. Whoa. This is a lot of big energy. Okay. Well, we got all your cards out. I think all at once here. Um, we got a bunch. So we have the star energy. So there is hope for the future. Okay. There is some healing going on. 
um, with between you, you and this person working hard. I feel like this is a lot of internal work healing as well. Do we have any? Yeah, there is holding back energy again. You both could be, mm, there could be a distance between you. And since we're asking what's next in love, I feel like this could be bridging that gap only because of the warrior card. But this anxiety has really caused um, someone to pull back. The Emperor, so rising in your own power. Someone, this is a masculine energy. Very clear with the King of Swords. There's definitely a moment of clarity with the Ace of Swords. Clarity on a new beginning. Yeah, and commitment. So this is pretty big that all these came out together. We're going to kind of sort this out. So... I feel like here in the now, you might be distanced from this connection. You or someone else, your person, right? Someone having anxiety over it. Could be even both of you because we have this here. But this is gaining clarity. So that distance is good because it's allowing you to go inward or your person to go inward and really figure things out for themselves, right? some sort of healthy boundary that needed to be put in place is now being respected. So there may have been no boundaries at all. And then someone said, you know what, I need to put a boundary up. And then this masculine energy here is respecting that I feel. Um, healing, there's a lot of healing going on. We do have clarity on a new start here and commitment. So I feel like there's a commitment to working things out. There's, yeah, there's a dedication. I feel like you're both very dedicated to each other, um, loyal. Yeah, you're learning a lot. There's, there's a lot of lessons that have been learned through this connection. And now I feel like you're committing to one another here, not necessarily through marriage, but what I mean is committing to the connection, putting the work in and trying to make things work. Can I get one on the Ace of Swords? What is this clarity? Some sort of healing, clarity, daydreaming. Okay, so dreaming of the future feeling like this is faded there could be a realization that this connection is meant to be with uh this card a lot about fate and destiny like a dream come true can i get one more on the ace of swords for crystal number one what's next in love ace of cups yeah so clear that you yeah clear that you're in love that you want a new start. So clean slate. There could have been a, a separation here that took place. Yeah, being open and receptive to it with the Queen of Cups on the bottom as well. Ooh, right over this. Yeah, I feel... Mm, yeah, I'm feeling like this is weird energy though. It's like... It's... I feel like right now in this current energy, there's a disconnect. Okay, but we're asking what's next and there's healing and going inward and clarity coming. So clarity on being in love, clarity on feeling like this is faded, wanting to commit to making it work with that warrior card um, and boundaries being respected here could be like, okay, you're respecting my boundaries. Um, you know, being open and receptive to all of the things that are okay with you and saying no to the things that are not okay. So this is good. I mean, it's, it's like rising up in your power and the emperor here for sure, uh, raising their own vibration, you know, really getting into an elevated consciousness where they're more aware more self-aware all right let's get some oracle cards out here so i feel like there is a new more clear start
coming, if that makes sense. <laughs> Maybe in the past it wasn't so clear or there were things happening that weren't really okay with one of you and you weren't speaking your truth. And then the Queen of Swords suggesting that you are speaking that truth now or someone is um, saying, you know, I'm not okay with this. And the other person respecting that and really working together. Yeah, it's kind of like that working together energy after a period of distance. And I definitely feel for some of you that both of you kind of distanced from one another. Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Be still a while. Yeah, see, so right now, this is what's happening. You're both being still. But what I'm feeling here, because we're asking what's next, is that that moment of stillness is going to lead to this clarity. So that is a good thing. What's next in love for crystal number one? And always keep in mind, we're asking about the future. So the current energies here, we're kind of basing what could possibly come from this. But one shift in energy or one change, one decision can change a whole lot. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Beautiful. Now, this is kind of what I was feeling, right? This moment of stillness, healing, going inward, setting healthy boundaries, brings clarity and then what happens hearts on fire here transformation your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so yeah that's exactly what i was kind of getting from this energy that already came out through this process your relationship will transform renew start fresh For some of you, for sure, start fresh. So I feel like that's a new, like someone that you were with possibly in a relationship or a connection. And then it did, there was some sort of disconnect. Find a balance. Yeah, this is about finding that balance, okay? Balancing, you know, the energy within, meditating, contemplating, quieting the mind and really feeling what you feel, speaking that truth knowing that you can speak that truth set that boundary and if this person really does love you they will respect that boundary what's next in love for crystal number one please whoa powerful okay so sacred reverence this possibly could be a twin flame we're talking about this is one of my top twin flame cards in this deck two hearts becoming one you hold the key to their heart. So this is a powerful love situation um, for a lot of you. It doesn't even matter if you're a twin flame or not. This is powerful love. Okay, very powerful love. Um, and feeling like it's fated and destined, meant to be. Very, very nice uh, healing that is going to transform things. What a what else that kind of flipped out here we got like three cartwheel cards coming out they cartwheeled out of the deck so we have potential solitude and voyage yeah some of you there could be travel coming um maybe someone is wanting to travel you or your person here's that solitude again right over be still a while take the time you need so it, even though What's next in love doesn't mean it has to happen right now or tomorrow or next week, right? Take the time you need, get the clarity you need, or allow your person, because I feel you're both distancing, allow your person to get the clarity they need and just relax. See the potential, right? Feel the potential in your heart. Feel that feeling, that love. And know that good things can come of this. You have to just know and have faith. Let's see what else for crystal number one. What's next in love? Feelings. Yeah. So feelings, this is the thing. Speaking your true feelings, right? Definitely was feeling like that's coming. Someone speaking up and speaking their truth and being fearless about it. Just speaking their truth, setting boundaries if necessary. Um, maybe even expressions of love as well but just being open and honest. So I feel like feelings are on the table here. Um, 
I feel two people here doing what it takes to make this work. Okay, let's see what else. Change, yeah, change is coming. Changes are definitely coming. It's in the wind. So right now, things are shifting and changing. Again, maybe a little bit of distance, but things are happening in that distance, in that solitude. So it's okay. Just know that it, it's okay and things will work out. Just keep working on that inner being, right? The inner world. As within, so without. Yes, heal your heart. So this love is very healing. Where It's coming out right here with the star as well. Healer of the ages. So this, this love is helping you both to heal your heart. Could have been both in bad situations in the past. And really, really being careful um, with your heart this time. But this is saying that it's healing. This relationship, this connection is healing you. Hmm. Miracles and blessings. Yeah. So I feel like with this, all of this healing and transformation that's going on, you're going to feel extremely blessed um, when things calm down and you come back together with this person more clear and um, focusing on the heart and what you feel. Mm, very blessed. Yeah, feeling like you're a gift. Someone feeling like you're a gift. A gift to their heart. Very nice. Let's see what else. For crystal number one, what's next in love? What's next in love for crystal number one, please? Whoa. A couple of cards flying out here. We have awakening and obsession. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of passion and desire between you as well. Um, that's what I'm getting with obsession card. Extreme uh, chemistry. Could even be watching each other from afar if you are distanced. And yeah, awakening to that. Again, needing that clarity. Awakening to something within that is helping you to propel yourself forward could be realizing where you're holding yourself back or something like that or this could be your person too someone realizing that they're holding themselves back in some way you know here and here kind of working on things but realizing where they possibly are holding themselves back okay What's next in love for crystal number one? Oh, thought I had a flipper. We, wow, <laughs> that one really fancy flew. Give your relationship a chance. Yes, see that? Work on the partner, your partnership. That's exactly what Warrior gave me. This is working on it from all angles together. Okay, and again, together, meaning even if you're at a distance at this time, I feel like you're both working on self and then bringing it back together in the future since we're saying what's next in love. Doing the things necessary to make it work. Growth, yeah, wow, I'm loving this. Yeah, there's a lot of growth here in this connection. Very nice. A lot of internal growth. A lot of realizations. This is good. Okay, let's get one of these. That was fast. Look at the bigger picture. Right what I was saying right earlier. Feel. See the potential. Feel with your heart. Don't let your mind overtake you. Look at the bigger picture. And definitely feeling with this card here that it's a commitment to one another. Again, not necessarily marriage, but for some of you, maybe it is. Maybe that's where you're at in your relationship right now. Maybe you're engaged to this person. You know, um, these are general readings. Um, so it could potentially mean that for you. But I feel like this is a commitment to one another. Okay. And even if you are in a relationship right now with this person and you're both kind of distancing from one another, meaning, you know, taking your time, your space, 
You could live in the same house and still get this space from one another, quiet time alone, right? You're working on working toward the future, the potential, the big picture. So really, really good. Um, I feel like this is a very powerful love. It's one of those loves that overcomes, you know, anything thrown their way. Very powerful, strong. I mean, we do have the emperor energy out there as well. That is a divine masculine energy. That is someone very powerful and strong and works on themselves a lot. Healing, etc. Okay, inner growth, personal growth. All right, what do we got here? Not today. So yeah, this is that distance. And for some of you, yeah, I do feel like for some of you, you may, there's that boundaries too. You may even be in the same household with this person. And, you know, if say one of you is trying to control the situation, because again, it might be one or both of you. But for some of you, if say one of you is trying to control a situation and push and force and control a situation, the other one's like, nope, not today. I need time. Okay. Is kind of what I'm getting here with this card. So if you're in that situation and your partner is asking for time, just know that that time will be beneficial, right? With the King of Swords, Ace of Swords there. Clarity. So all right, guys. Well, that is what I have for you for today. Crystal number one. I really hope this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the rose quartz crystal. And this card here, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number two. So this little guy here is all about night magic so what i'm feeling here is that there's a possible date night um being planned either you or your person of course um because these are the current energies so maybe someone planning to ask you out on a date and this could also be just some sort of get together i'm feeling with your person so this is about a coming together in some way is what I feel. It doesn't have to be at night. It is night magic, but it doesn't have to be at night. Let's see what the tarot has to say. What's next in love for crystal number two? We have the ten of swords fly out. So the end of a painful cycle. Hmm, we'll get more with the clarifiers on that. So end of a painful cycle. Some of you could have been single for some time. Maybe this is someone new asking you on a date. What's next in love for crystal number two? For some of you, it could be a painful cycle um, with a specific person, high priestess, someone that you intuitively are connected to. Hmm. Intuitively connected to. I'm getting twin flame vibes here, guys. Okay. With the high priestess, I feel like you're both sharing this consciousness. You're connecting in the 5D. Hmm, interesting energy here. Connecting in the 5D, your intuition, following your intuition and sharing an intuition with someone. So you're both having both the same intuitive hits about this relationship or connection or something like that. Hmm, okay, let's see. What else? What's next in love for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two? Hanged man, surrender. Hmm. Yeah, just allowing universal flow. So letting go of control of the situation, just kind of allowing things to unfold. Someone having a change in perspective. Always keep in mind these are general readings as well. Change in perspective. So I feel like for some of you, this could have been someone who... You felt a connection with, you were really wanting them to come forward toward you. Maybe they weren't and maybe they've had a change in perspective and now they come forward expressing feelings or something like that. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number two, please. What's next in love for crystal number two? Two. 
Okay, we have the Five of Wands and the Sun. Wow. So, some sort of chaos and conflict. Yeah, someone had to change their perspective on things. There might have been chaos and conflict, or there currently is some sort of chaos and conflict in someone's life. And they're having to overcome something. Yeah, this could be kind of getting like other like disagreements with other people doesn't necessarily mean about this connection but this could be standing in the way of the happiness of this connection so someone might be surrounded by chaos conflict things going on in their life maybe changing their perspective on where they stand, what they, what they want to do with their life, something like that. I don't, I don't know. That's a weird energy there. But we have the sun energy as well. So happiness, okay? End of a painful cycle, happiness. Well, this doesn't really mean for the Ten of Swords, but I will take another one there. Um, happiness. So happiness on the way. I feel like this connection with the intuition is pretty big here. You could both just know that you make each other happy and that you want to be together uh, deep down. But there's some sort of a painful cycle needing to end. Can I see what that is, please? Ten of Swords. What is this painful cycle? It needs to end, please, for crystal number two. Six of Wands. Something that was standing in the way of this victory. Mm, could have been that five of wands there. We're going from the five to the six, so that's a good sign. But what is this ten of swords? So I feel like this could have been what was standing in the way. Whatever this is could be the painful cycle that needed to end. And so surrounded by people that maybe were, you know, not happy about this connection or... Picking up like family of five here. Family of five. There is, well, five of wands too. Yeah, and there's five of cups. <laughs> For some of you, there's something about a family here. Possible family of five. Walking away from something. creates a victory though by letting something go a victory comes from that and I feel like for some of you it's something about a family of five here I'm going to move this one down here um, yeah something about a family of five so maybe there's family matters in one of your energies here that's kind of was preventing something from happening this get together or let's see can i get another one what's next in love for crystal number two i'm gonna get some clarifiers out on these as well because this isn't very clear right now. What's next in love for crystal number two? There's some sort of an end of a cycle. Okay. Um, yeah, family. Ten of pentacles. So I feel like good things could be coming. You could be on the road to victory. But there's something with this conflict... This could be going on right now that's preventing, but we have happiness, we have victory, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So this is really good energy to come through for what's coming next. But whatever that conflict is, I feel is what's kind of preventing something, whether it be this get together with the Night Magic or... Can I get more? What is this painful cycle? Ten of Swords. Can I get more? Someone could be married. 
Ten of Swords. Someone could be married. Maybe this is this family of five. They could be providing for someone else as well. Family of five. They could be have a lot of responsibility. At this time. So. They could be unsure about. Yeah, death. Two of Wands. Such confusing energy. So there's some sort of ending that has to take place. Could be surrounding some sort of committed situation. Doesn't have to be a marriage. Could be a family because we have family of five as well coming through. Uh, general reading with a lot of different energies coming through here. Death and Rebirth, Two of Wands. So something having to end. That choice having to be made is what's coming next uh is what i'm feeling this choice this is kind of all about this choice this choice being to change something in life in order to bring in happiness okay um there is a changed mind here so this could have been something that someone was choosing for quite some time and now they've changed their mind about it. They realize that it's just not good for them. So they're ending that painful cycle and choosing to move on. What's next in love for crystal number two? Can I get one on the sun, please? We have two. We can get two on the sun. That's fine. <laughs> Happiness and passion. New journey. Yeah, so someone had to change their mind about making a new journey, taking a new journey, uh, taking that leap of faith, starting something new. Could have been stuck with something in the past here, like stuck in the past, reliving the past. Again, obligated, obligated committed obligated yeah so that someone here was obligated to something else hmm so the new journey and passion coming in on the sun card this is what will make someone happy here is starting new and moving on to what they're passionate about what what makes them happy you but whatever was standing in their way for a lot of you, it's very confusing here, so you'll have to piece it together. For a lot of you, it was some sort of choice about family or other people. Ten of Pentacles. What's next in love? Ten of Pentacles is a very stable energy. So I feel like with that coming out here, I feel like this whatever this changes is pretty big and it's integral to whatever happens next okay and again keep in mind with we're asking about the future so we're trying to figure out based on these energies what this could mean um and one choice or decision even to change their mind or not change their mind one thing can change the whole entire outlook um, on this reading because tarot doesn't really predict the future uh, we kind of based on the energies right now um, but someone is really in the energy of wanting to end something making that choice to walk away to bring in happiness stability uh, I mean this is like the happily ever after you know abundance of love money everything you know all of the things just complete happiness so I feel like complete happiness could be on the way here. Getting together might be a first step. This could be something that they're planning. Maybe they're letting go. Because uh, this is planning next steps here. Two of Wands. So maybe they're letting go of something from the past with death and rebirth. Ending whatever that is. Whatever situation that is for your person. And starting something new. And maybe coming forward with, again, like a, a, an invitation for a date or getting together or, you know, whatever the next step is for you. These are general readings, so you may be, you know, the next step might be dating for you or it could be something else. So 
take it how it resonates for you. But I am feeling like there is something good coming here with the full energy, the Ten of Pentacles, King of Wands, knowing what they want, sun energy, happiness. But there is something that was standing in the way that could be being released here in the present moment. Okay, let's see with the Oracle. What's next in love for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two? Whoa. <laughs> that was very feisty. Mm. Protection. Yeah. So this person's going to be very protective of you and this connection. They could have stayed away um, from you as well to protect you the sentinel for some of you um if this person is going through something here some sort of chaos and conflict in their life something painful that has to end they could be staying away from you at this point in time to protect you from something that was fast wow manifesting miracles beautiful absolutely beautiful energy coming through Mer yes manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance ah, ah. so someone is finally trusting themselves trusting their intuition remember i said this was kind of important someone is finally tapped in and i feel for some of you even connected you're both getting the same intuitive hits the same consciousness okay so twin flames okay for some of you not necessarily for all of you but your intuition or this person's intuition is pointing them in the right direction so tapping into that is very important right now i feel like that will help lead the way past this disappointment and into something victorious what else next in love for reflecting on the priorities yeah so i feel now that this person is prioritizing their heart right with what this says here trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance your dream is soon to become a reality so someone dreaming here of ten of pentacles beautiful love happiness joy family prosperity happiness with the sun card your dream is about to become a reality and now I feel like they're focused on that. They're focused on their heart. They could have been making decisions before for other people, worrying about what other people think because that five of wands, it's, it's about other people. Even it could be their family, what they thought about things or, you know, their belief systems trickling down the uncharted sea yeah so what's coming next time to move into the unknown the fool card right take that leap of faith definitely feel like that's coming that's kind of what i was feeling the whole way through was that someone here was working toward a new start releasing something from the past that painful ending potential lots of potential here between you uh ten of pentacles is a beautiful connection with potential um, for prosperity, for joy and bliss, happiness, family. Let's see what else. For crystal number two. Feel what? These same cards. This is weird. Um, feelings. I swear these came out. These two especially uh, came out for crystal number one. I'm not positive, but I do a lot of readings in a day. Um, feelings. So yeah. Uh, lots of feelings between you. I feel like this is feelings coming to the surface um, and being expressed fully and wholly. Mm, yeah, asking you out. So for some of you, they may have stayed at a distance and worked out something in their life before coming toward you and asking you out on a date or asking you to be their boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, and now they're coming to you and being like, you know, I've really had these feelings for you and I'd like to explore this. You know, taking that leap of faith, allowing fear to stop at the door. Someone fearing it in the past. Ah, okay. Truth be told. Yes, 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 yes. The mask is coming off. It's kind of what I was feeling there. Uh, Spirit just reiterating that fact for some of you. That that's exactly the case. Someone has more feelings for you than they are letting on. 
Could even be a secret admirer situation here. And they're about to come forward with some feelings. What's next in love for crystal number two? What's next in love for crystal number two? Ooh, wow. Goddess of the moon. Again, this powerful intuition. Yeah, this is a very big message here to follow your intuition in this situation. Both of you. Yeah, very important to do that. Let's see what else for crystal number two. What's next in love for crystal number two? We have love who you are. So loving yourself and express love through gifts. Beautiful. Love who you are. So be self-loving. Love who you are. You, yourself exactly as you are. I feel like this person and you, uh, both divine. Okay, delightful. It says divine and delightful. Yeah, so you are a delight. You are beautiful and amazing. And you deserve all of this love that you want to give to someone else. Give it to yourself. Be loving to yourself and expressing love through gifts. So someone could be coming to you with a gift here if they're asking you out as well. Um, maybe possibly, you know, bringing you flowers or something like that. Wanting to express their feelings to you. But definitely um, self-love. So I feel like what's next? Work on self-love until this manifests for you, you know. Continue to follow your intuition. And if it's you that's trying to make that choice to get out of that situation, uh, I feel like you're there. You're ready to make that with two of wands um, and the death card on that five of wands synchronicities Ooh. so you guys might be seeing signs and synchronicities pointing you back together um, or to one another so if you if someone has secret feelings for you and they're not coming forward they may keep like seeing your name or hearing your name and being like oh I really like them or I really want to be with them and they're they're gonna be like not pushed but their intuition is going to like nudge them and keep nudging them to come forward and speak their truth you know um even if there is conflict around right whether it be for them or for you i feel like the intuition here is really nudging someone to come forward because i definitely felt like this was some sort of get together uh, taking that leap of faith with the full card is, I feel, someone really kind of putting themselves out there and saying like, hey, I'd like to do this, you know. Stay optimistic about your love life. So good things are coming. Stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So romance could be on the way here as long as we stay optimistic about it. Let's see what else. Ascension. Yeah, see, raising your vibrations. Ah, healing. <laughs> it doesn't want to fall out. Um, raising your vibrations, both of you, okay? Doing the self-loving thing, right? Choosing yourself. This could be this situation here. Like I said, family of five. Or it could be a marriage for some of you that someone's trying to remove themselves from. Maybe not choosing themselves in the past, right? Now this is talking about choosing themselves. Love who you are. You choosing yourself or your person choosing themselves. Really rising um, to a higher level of consciousness. And choosing yourself first. Almost fell on the floor. It's time to release negativity. Yes. Yes. Okay, so in the current energies, that's exactly what that energy is there. Time to release it. End of the painful cycle. I just put it right there because that's exactly what that's talking about. It's time to release whatever that is in their life, your or their life. That's negativity that's holding them back from taking this leap of faith. So we have stabbed in the back and keys on a ring. 
so let me see here we have heartbreak pain yeah separation it could be painful if this is family that someone's walking away from they may feel stabbed in the back by their family like you know maybe they really do love you and they want to be with you and have you as part of their family and maybe their family has some sort of belief system that prevents them from being open-minded to your connection or something like that okay uh someone definitely feeling like betrayed here by their family or by whatever this negative situation is and keys on the ring i feel like this is that decision okay um keys on a ring it says many options and decisions i feel like this person is choosing the option that is best for them whether this be you or your person i feel like you're choosing what's best for you which is that self-loving card coming through so releasing negativity and a new journey beginning is what I'm kind of feeling here. Lots of feelings that may come out for some of you as well. So if your person that on your mind hasn't spoken their feelings, you might be expecting them too soon. Um, because in their current energy, they're really, it's really heavily in their energy right now that they want to do that. Hmm. Anyway, wow, that was uh, pretty intense. All right, guys, crystal number two, that is what I have for you for today. I really hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number three, the Amazonite crystal, and this card here, this will be your reading, okay? Today we are asking spirit, what's next in love? So today for you, we have bliss. This is really good. So you're both feeling pretty good right now is what I'm feeling. Could be internally. You're both feeling really good about what you're feeling for one another. Um, yeah, good vibes here. Very good vibes. Liking it so far with that first card out. Let's see. I feel like happiness and bliss would be coming since we're asking what's next in love. So even if you're not at a happy, blissful state in your connection or relationship, I feel like this is saying that that will be coming here. Let's see what else with the tarot for crystal number three. Yes. Yeah, so oh, excitement. Nice. Page of Wands. This could be exciting news as well. Pages are about messages. You could be receiving a message from this person. What else? What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? Two together. Ooh, four of wands. Someone releasing themselves, possibly from a stable situation. Breaking the binds. Could be, um, could be a marriage here breaking apart as well. Could be a decision to get divorced, something like that could make someone very happy maybe they've been wanting this for a long time could get exciting news about that maybe they're already there's already a process in place here or something like that maybe this has already been something on the books and we're getting some sort of message about it yeah feeling freedom here wow okay with the page of wands and the four of wands and eight of swords side by side i'm feeling freedom there someone feeling happy joyous blissful free very nice okay could be you or your person of course let's see what else what's next in love surrender nice yeah surrender so someone has surrendered to the universe and just allowing universal flow to you know move this situation along okay very good energy there What else for crystal number three? What's next in love? Mm, lots of passion. King of Wands. Nice. Lots of passion. Let me just move this. There's, sorry. I might have hit the camera there. But uh, King of Wands. Yeah. So there's a lot of passion and knowing what you want. Uh, someone really focused on their desires here. So something that they really want. Mm, forward moving. Feeling strong, confident, yeah, free. 
There's this freedom here. Could be a masculine energy we're talking about here. Kind of getting that same type of vibe from that um, King of Wands there. The devil. So, mm, yeah, wow. Codependence, yeah. So, breaking free of codependency. Wow. This could be, uh, this exciting news could potentially be some sort of news of dissolution of marriage or some sort of final word on something, some sort of final decision on something. It really does have someone feeling amazing. Could have been a long time coming. Uh, for sure. Four of Wands, six, eight of swords, please. Four of Wands, eight of swords. For crystal number three. Emperor. Mm. Yep, that's why they're feeling free. They're really risen in their power. This is the Emperor. He is strong, stable, strategic. Could have had this plan in place for quite some time. Um, like I said, could have been working in silence and really taking care of things on the DL, the down low there. Uh, not with, you know, a lot of people um, knowing their business, very quiet to themselves. Lots of different messages coming through here. Uh, take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Um, yeah, quiet. Stoic. Very stern someone really putting their foot down in a situation here a very powerful strong empowered energy here coming through so masculine energy um feeling pretty strong empowered free hanged man surrender for crystal number three what's next so i feel like whatever this is breaking free from something and this exciting news is what kind of brings this blissful feeling um could be for both of you this could be news that you've both been awaiting as well let's see the hanged man please for crystal number three what's next in love for crystal number three seven of cups emotional choice so you're making the emotional choice to surrender can i get one more Someone's making the emotional. I had a feeling. You know what's funny? As I saw this card. When I looked at this card, I saw this card. I think that's why my, my hands wanted to keep shuffling because I knew it was coming. Feminine energy here has released control. They've made the emotional choice to let go. Not to worry. Not to focus on it. And guess what happened? The shift happened. And now the, the news is here. Surrendered to the divine. Allowed universal flow in. Wow. So this, I feel, is a big shift happening. There's big change here. New start. After a moment of surrender and strength and power and courage on this masculine's part as well. So now I feel like there's a feminine energy here open and ready to receive. Um, the emotional choice to surrender has been made in the current energies here. And I feel like now for the future, then this means you're ready to receive is what I'm feeling here. Let's see the king of wands. I feel like this is your masculine energy here, really knowing what they want and wanting to push forward toward it. Uh Oh, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of anxiety. What is this anxiety? Hard work paying off. Could have something to do with money. Mm. There could still be some details not worked out in this situation. Something to do with money. Okay, giving them anxiety. All right, they might be a little bit fearful that moving forward will cause some sort of delay. This could be a two-part decision. There could be multiple things on the table. Yeah. 
So I feel like there's a masculine end, but standing strong and not backing down is what I feel with this card, the Emperor. So I feel like the hard work will pay off, but I also feel like there's something that's causing a little bit of anxiety about it. It's a two-part decision, so I feel like there's more coming, more decisions on the way. Since we're asking what's next, let's get Oracle cards out here. What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? What's next in love for crystal number three? Following the signs. So follow your intuition. Okay. Um, you or your person. Really follow the signs. Card 44 as well coming through there for someone. Um. The angels are speaking to you, giving you direction. What else? What's next in love for crystal number three? I almost said one, but it's three. Expression. Mm, so some sort of expression coming. Could be love. Okay. Um, this is just about being expressive. So it could be about love. It could be news that you've been waiting to hear from someone as well feelings it could be that too. reveal what needs to be seen yeah expression so whatever this is I feel like for some of you it might have been something you weren't really fully aware of um, you might have been aware on a small scale but not on the big scale so you didn't know all of the details this is someone expressing the details here Okay, so expressing more, you're hearing some news. So I feel like it's some sort of information that can shift a situation out of codependency, some sort of a, possibly a stable condition, a stable commitment could be a marriage as well, but um, some sort of stable commitment that might have been codependency, um, you know, really being stuck in a codependent relationship of some sort it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship either I mean codependency exists among families as well um, you know moms and children moms and you know ex-husbands or ex-partners um, there's you know codependency going on either way either way in this situation as I'm talking, they just keep flying out. I'm like, okay. Hmm. Yeah, following your intuition. Yeah, following the intuition, pretty important here. And exposed and revealed, once again, all about hearing what hasn't been heard yet. Okay, so there's a lot about this expression. So I feel like that's definitely coming next for some of you. Intuitively, you may know it's coming. You may have this feeling or knowing, inner knowing about this situation. But now this is about the physical hearing of it straight from someone's mouth or straight into your inbox or something like that. But the details that need to be seen are on their way is what I'm feeling here. What's next in love? Ooh, suddenly. Power. That, that emperor there, something um, suddenly coming through. So there is a sudden shift of change and standing in their power, definitely feeling that power coming through, that power, that strength, that courage um, to make change and stick to it. Like no turning back. Like I said, very um, stern. Can I get more for crystal number three, please? What's next in love for crystal number three? Innocence. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, this love is pure. So the love between you and this person is pure. Um... Even though things may have gotten in the way, I feel like you just know that this love is deep. 
Mm. Yeah, there's a powerful love there with that Innocence card. It's very pure love, very unconditional. So I feel like you might have stayed by someone's side during a trying time. Look at this deep knowing, yeah. Following the intuition. You have a deep knowing and there's an owl on this card as well. What did I say? You might already expect this information to come. You had a deep knowing about it. And then you hear it, physically hear it, okay? Or like I said, read it in your inbox or something like that. For some of you, it may be a phone call or it may be an email because that's coming through that way. Um, but some sort of information that really can shift this situation. Contract, yeah. There's definitely a marriage involved for some of you. Not necessarily all of you. This can be a contract. These are general readings. This could be a business contract, okay? This could be a contract, um, a rental agreement, right? Could be a lot of different things, but for some of you, I definitely feel like this could be a marriage, okay? Um, that's coming to finality. You know, the there's some sort of news about it. A next step, two-part, could be a two-part process though. So this might be some of the news. Maybe you're waiting a little bit more. That could be what's coming next. Or maybe this is enough, you know, to uh, move forward. The Eight of Pentacles is about the hard work paying off. But I was also feeling with that anxiety that for some of you, it's it's an anxiety about something to do with the financial. So, and this is a two-part process. So there could be multiple processes that someone is trying to get through. What's next in love? For crystal number three, and I almost dropped the card. Actions speak loudly. Oh, I'm telling you, whoever this is here, they are taking action. Whatever action they're needing to take, they're taking it. Lots of action-oriented cards here in the masculine energy. Okay, lots going on. Um, and not backing down, being courageous and strong through it as well. And this could be them coming toward you as well. Actions speak loudly. Um, this could be them coming toward you and saying, you know, I, I think things are, this is happening here and things might be able to shift. We might be able to move forward or, you know, um, they could have just been literally single and waiting for this to, well, single meaning separated or away from this person and waiting for finality in something in their life before they moved forward. So we have three out here, but I'm also being told to take the bottom of the deck, which is romance. So, and then we have these three. So we will take the bottom of the deck first, romance. So there definitely could be some romance between you. There's a lot of passion here uh, for you, I feel. Destiny, feeling like it's meant to be. Hmm. Mm, yeah, fulfilling your destiny. Empowered, oh, definitely. Someone here is definitely feeling empowered. Like I said, I was feeling that already. And intimacy, yeah, so there's a definite coming together here. Um, I'm feeling like, again, for some of you, it's news that can shift it forward. For some of you, it might be a two-part process. But either way, I feel like this alone, because we have bliss in the beginning, I feel this alone is making both of you, you and your person, just joyful, free, feeling free and happy and joyful uh, regardless. Even if there is more to it, they may have moments of anxiety about whatever that other situation is, but I, there's the codependency. Yeah, I knew that codependency right here definitely was coming through we'll just skip over that one they are definitely removing themselves from something that was not good for them and it, like I said the exciting news is surrounding that Ooh, sacred space hmm feeling like this there's some sort of get-together here in a special place that you 
to you and this person, there's somewhere special that you usually get together or something like that, a common place that you get together. Retreating to that place. Maybe this is where this information too, right? This exciting news could be on this meeting here when you maybe meet up with this person in a special place you normally meet. Maybe they're exp maybe it's an in-person message, you know, it could be that too. <laughs> I mean, speaking instead of on the phone or an email could be an in-person announcement of sorts. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So a get together possibly as well. Coming. Someone may be thinking about doing that right now. Planning. Hmm. Luck. Luck, luck, luck. I like it. Luck is on your side. Sagittarius for someone there. Uh, Sagittarius coming through. Luck is on your side. So good things around the way. You're going to feel amazing. I was feeling that right from the beginning here. Freedom. Freedom is a big message today. Feeling that freedom. Okay, let's get one of these, please. For crystal number three, what's next in love? So I feel like once you come together, there is a lot of passion, romance. Am I taking all of these? Yep. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. So some of you may be meeting at a coffee shop. <laughs> okay, that coming through right there on these two. As soon as I touch the coffee cup. This is where this talk might take place. Okay, I'll get back to that romance. Um, well, I mean, I was almost done with it. Basically, I feel like there is a lot of passion and desire between you here. Um, and it maybe was on slower stop for a while. Um maybe not for all of you there could have been little bits here and there where you were able to get together with this person but i do feel like they were working on something pretty big so they may have distanced at times from you um, to kind of work on whatever it was they were working on so for some of you that sacred space could be a coffee shop <laughs> It could be, and sacred space sometimes means a sacred space, but today when it came through, it was a special place for you two, you and your person. So that could be anywhere, you know, it could be down the block, uh, in the park, <laughs> you know, it could be anywhere. Um, but for some of you, I feel like it's at a coffee shop here. And that was where this talk may take place. And then we have this beautiful card here about clarity and truth and something suddenly happening is what I'm feeling here. Power, like very, very, um, what's the word? Like sudden, yeah, like lightning striking, you know, like very sudden um, change or shift. It could be that moment of clarity too about something someone could be reaching a moment of clarity and truth very quickly like it happens suddenly in a moment maybe during meditation or yeah some sort of sudden clarity coming and it could be this here for whoever it say this person was well aware of what was going on and they weren't sharing something with you and you are unsure this news could possibly be bringing you clarity because we felt like this was coming suddenly earlier so i feel like that's connecting the two so this may be clarity for you in this situation okay is what i'm feeling there all right guys that is what i have for you for today crystal number three i really hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading